Hello and welcome. Before we get too far into this section, I thought it may be valuable to put the theme of this unit about reasoning into context. We will stray a bit from the traditional math you have come accustomed to, but the perspective should prove enlightening. We'll attempt to join many of the pieces of your learning to start to form an image that resembles someone with a growing capacity to reason. A skill that comes surprisingly naturally for us. You may have wondered at some point as to the value of your efforts to learn many of the things you're introduced to at school, math included. That would be quite normal, as the effort of our learning is often disconnected from how it will benefit us in the longer term. The ability to reason and problem solve are not easily acquired and take substantial time and effort to develop. Try not to get impatient with the process and trust that your efforts to build these skills will be worth it. Like needing to learn to crawl before you walk and walk before you run, the investment in your basic skills sets you up for conquering learning more complex concepts that utilize higher order skills. Becoming wise doesn't happen one day just because you complete your last assignment. It goes much deeper than that. As always, we'll do our best to show you that the development of good reasoning is really at the heart of much of your learning. From an early age, we start connecting to our surroundings in a trial and error kind of fashion. As inquisitive observers, with the ability to draw conclusions, we are born ready to reason. Our world fills with sights, sounds, tastes, and touches. We're not good at reasoning just yet, and need a lot of help to stay safe. But our brains feverishly start forming connections, trying to piece it all together. Who's important? What do I have to do to get a meal? Who gets to change me this time? Without the ability to observe and explore the way we do, a human survival would not be what it is today. Our ability to see patterns in the world have given us a survival advantage that is unmatched in nature. From hunting and gathering, to farming and fishing, to advancements that have taken us into space, our success comes from our ability to connect with and understand our world in ways no other species can. Of course, we don't always get it right. Our observations often lead us in the wrong direction. For example, before we really understood gravity, the idea that the Earth was spherical would have been preposterous. But new ideas can help us reshape our thinking, giving us the capacity to see things differently. However, new ideas can also conflict with views we want to hold on to, like wanting to place the Earth at the center of the universe. Thankfully, new observations can push out old, widely held paradigms, and we can move forward. This can often take some time. Galileo's incarceration for his observations that supported a non-Earth-centered universe is a good example of how uncomfortable we can be with change. The Dark Ages are a testament to how far we've come in a relatively short period. It's easy to look back and think that our ancestors must have been kind of dim-witted. That's probably unfair. Pause this episode and open a new browser and search YouTube for Monty Python's She's a Witch scene. Or see the link below this video in the lesson. Perhaps lacking an ability to reason was not their fault. They had the capability of being more logical but weren't given the opportunities to learn that we often take for granted. They also didn't have the benefit of technology aiding their observations, or the incredible accumulation of wisdom that our societies possess today. Perhaps keeping people in the dark was a way for those in control to maintain their grip on the masses. Don't believe for a moment that we have found or accepted all that is true. 
our very origin still finds itself being contested as old views and new understandings continue to clash. We still have a great deal to uncover, and, in spite of our progress, our technological advancements create as many problems as they solve. Perhaps now, more than ever, we need to utilize our natural observation skills to help us form more accurate conclusions about the questions before us. And be thankful that you're being given the opportunity to learn so that you're not being kept in the dark. A chance to become a more independent thinker, capable of a broad range of higher level skills, including reasoning. Keeping the broader view of your learning in mind may help motivate you to make the most of your opportunities.